Hello, uh, good evening everybody. Again, this is Santos Capellan Jr. wishing you a good day. And now, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you my uh, our actual uh, DDC checking and field devices installation in an air handling unit. Now, what I'm going to show you is my video taken in one of my projects that I handled. Now, let me play the video. Okay, what I'm showing you here is the DDC panel. Okay, now as you can see, the DDC panel are already online. So I'm showing you a typical installation of DDC panel, showing the different components inside the DDC panel. We have the terminal blocks, transformer, fuse holders. Uh, yes, then our control transformer, which are giving power supply to all my field devices. Then my UV control ultraviolet uh, control, then my main DDC panel, and the I.O. modules. These are the combination of I.O. modules. This is a digital module. Okay, now we will go now to the motor control. Okay, so this is the DC one. I'm showing the enclosure. Then the motor control. So this is the motor control that controls the fan motor of a running unit. There are two fans, the supply fan and the return fan. Now these motors are driven by, or I mean controlled by variable frequency drive. As you can see here, the motors are running at full speed at 50 Hertz. Both fans are running at 50 Hertz, okay? So BMS is the one controlling the speed of the fans. Okay, I'm showing you the typical uh, fascia of a motor control. Okay, our main breaker, then the voltmeter, the VFD. Now let's go to the installation of the devices. This is the cooling valve, the valve actuator and the valve. Okay, BMS is the one controlling the opening and closing. Then we have the differential pressure switch across the fan. I think this is for the filters. Then we have a pressure sensor. Then I have here a flow meter, flow meter installed in the return line of chilled water. And I have another uh, differential pressure switch. Okay, this is the temperature sensor. Now another differential pressure switch. Sometimes the differential pressure switch you can install using only one probe. Then I have here the damper actuator that controls the opening and closing of the damper. Then, and I have another here. I think that is the air quality sensor. Then another field devices installed at the duct. Okay, this is another uh, damper equator. This is the fan part of the air handling unit. The isolator switch, so that if you want to isolate the motor, another isolator switch. Then this one will show the if the filter is clean or dirty. That red thing is the smoke duct detector. Then another, I think that one is a pressure sensor. So that is how you are going to install the field devices in an air handling unit. Okay, now I guess I hope I have shown you an idea. How are you going to install these field devices? in an air handling unit if you will become a BMS engineer. So once again, 
thank you very much for watching this short video clip and I do hope I have given you an idea how to do a BMS work. And if you are new to my channel, please subscribe and don't forget to click also the notification bell and you can always leave a comment so we can discuss whatever question you have in your mind. Again, this is Santos Capitan Jr. saying God bless us all and bye for now.